In this video, you will learn about defibrillating Victoria with a real AED or defibrillator. By the end of the video, you should be ready to place the defibrillator electrodes on Victoria, configure the software's automatic response to electric shock, change the ECG to an appropriate rhythm, and monitor the automatic response of Victoria. Open the skin plugs on Victoria's side to reveal the pad-free defibrillation post. Another skin plug on the right shoulder reveals another pad-free defibrillation post. Before defibrillating the simulator, program the automatic response. Click the menu icon in the upper right, scroll over setup, and click auto response. The simulator can respond one of three ways when it detects pacing, defibrillation, cardioversion, or non-synchronous shocks. The all off option will stop the simulator from automatically responding to electrical therapy. The All Auto option will automatically convert the simulator to the vitals listed in this window. The default is the All Prompt option. It will ask you each time the simulator detects electrical therapy whether or not you want to convert. For the pre-programmed automatic responses, change the ECG to a shockable rhythm by clicking the rhythm next to EKG and select Ventricular Fibrillation. The software will detect when the shock is delivered and prompt you to convert to the normal sinus rhythm or to ignore the shock. If you click yes, the software will trend to the values of the programmed rhythm and the AED or defibrillator will display the new vitals in real time.